Hey everybody, it's Grandpa Cotton here today. How y'all doing? Hope somebody, I, hope, I got a lot of hits on my rescue squad. Anybody can join. I don't care who you are. If you got a boat, you can join. You got a four wheeler, you can join. Okay? And that's enough said about that. Look here. This is a GE dryer motor. I'm going to show y'all something. It's got a shaft on each end of it. It repurposes easy. You can use it for a lot of things. You have cellular power, you can use it to run a 24 volt alternator and charge your batteries. You ain't got to worry about no solar panels or nothing. No wind meters. Uh, if you got fan motors, squirrel cages, grinders, hey man, this thing works good for everything. I got a friend of mine, we hooked up two ends on it, put brush, a brush on one end, a grinder disc on the other end, it worked good. Uh, I got some people out there asked about them, said they couldn't get them to work. Well, I don't know why, but today, y'all gonna learn a little something, because Grandpa Cotton gonna show you how to make it work. Now, first thing, when you get out of the dryer, got all these wires hooked to it. See all them wires? Let me get you over here a little bit closer so y'all can see what I'm doing. Now, hang on, now, bear with me there. Let me get the camera adjusted. Ah, right, here we are, right there. Okay, you got all these wires right here, all right? Okay. All these wires go there. First off, everybody says, well, this thing's 220 and we can't get it to run. That's not true. This is 110. It says it right there, 110. Okay. These are your wires here, these three wires. I cut them off. Look here. We don't even need them. Throw them away, okay? You don't really need this ground, need that green wire. What you need is, you see them wires right there? You got an orange, a black, and a blue, okay? These two brushes here, the orange and the black, they on the same wire, the blue's on the wire, okay? That's all the brush wires we need, okay? I'm going to show y'all how to wire it up right now and make it run. Show y'all that they will run on 110. All right, this is just a simple wire, negative, positive, okay? We're gonna go right here on this black wire. It's like that right there. Now, y'all use these things for all kind of stuff. I'm, this is gonna be the one I'm gonna use for the generator because it's got a half inch shaft, it's got a bigger shaft on it. Generator motor has got a tapered shaft, so you have to taper a shaft to make it work, but we're gonna make it work. Let's see, let's see if the thing run. Oh, look at that. You see that thing crank up? These crank up on their own. They got their own crank up machine on them, see? You don't have to be a genius to do this kind of stuff. Just remember you got this from Grandpa Cotton. Hope all y'all being safe today. And that's how we wire a motor. I'm gonna get you up here and put you a little closer where we can look at it. Where are we at there? See them wires right there coming out of them brushes? The only wires you need to make something run. Now this motor here, it runs super fast. It ain't reversible, so you got, you know, clockwise rotation. There it is, right there. Hope all y'all enjoy these old dumb videos. Grandpa Cotton gone.